We welcome you to Jesse Owens Memorial Stadium for a special state track and field championship show. It's brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone Company for home, internet, and TV services. Thanks to our friends at Wabash Mutual Telephone. Well, today's the day where there are final events in Division 1, 2, and 3, and we'll bring them all to you starting on the track with Division 3. The hurdles are where we begin. What a start to the day for Temple Christian's Madison Yanks, 100 hurdles. She finishes in third, 14.9. USV's Megan Carey in fourth. I think it felt pretty good. Um, it was a little bit slower than I normally run, but it still felt pretty good, and I was so excited to be up there. What was it like with that competition here? It was insane. Some of those girls are pulling out times that I can only dream of right now, and I feel very privileged to be able to run with those girls. A lot of them are sophomores and juniors, and me being one of the only seniors out there, it was, it was humbling to see all those girls who are doing so well at such a young age, and I was just hoping to, you know, give them a little encouragement and hopefully be able to come back someday and see them run again. Well, first a chance for her own success. Yanks wins Temple Christian's first state championship in the three on hurdles, 43.93. Cold Water Savannah Cyber fifth. Absolute amazement. I mean, this is what I've worked for for six years, and. I remember being in junior high and thinking, if I can get to state my senior year, that would be like the goal. And being here three years in a row and finally being able to stand on the top of the podium has been a feeling I can't even explain. It's I'm so happy and so excited to finally have achieved that top goal that I had. No hurdles at your school until this year. Can you can you even explain that? Well. We have a very small team, a very startup track program, so a lot of the time we use, my dad built PVC pipe hurdles for me a few years back to, to uh, practice with, and this year we bought a set of hurdles from Delphus Jefferson when they got new hurdles, so we kind of inherited their old hurdles, and we use those in the parking lot, in the gym, wherever we could, in the hallway sometimes when it was rainy and cold, so... I mean, it was a big deal for us. To everyone else, it probably was like, oh, look at Temple finally getting some hurdles. But for us, it was a big deal. How does this parallel the faith journey uh, that you've gone through throughout high school? I mean, I would not be here if I didn't have God, obviously. I mean, I went through a lot of injuries and a lot of, I had to use a lot of faith, like, okay, I'm here, now I need you to carry me to the finish line. And a lot of that time I've dealt with numerous ankle injuries and just being able to kind of um, go into things with like, I got God on my back. And like a lot of these other kids are relying pure on their physical abilities. And I'm like, I have my physical abilities and I got God pushing me. 